Hello everyone and welcome back to a new tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make a robbery system very very easily so let's get started. Okay so firstly let's make some leader stats real quick. So just press the plus icon on server script service, add a script and rename the script to leader stats and in here we're going to create a player added event so game dot players let me zoom in a bit game dot players dot player added con connect function player and we're gonna do local leader stats is equal to instance dot new folder comma player and local no leader stats dot name is equal to leader stats and we're gonna create a coins variable so local coins is equal to instance dot new uh, end value come up player and coins dot name is equal to coins and sorry instead of parenting it to the player for in order for the variable to for the currency to show up on the leader leaderboard we have to parent it to the leader stats folder and now it should work so coins dot value is equal to zero and let's play the game and we should see some leader stats okay so as you can see we have coins let me change that to money money and now if you go ahead and play the game we should have some leader stats that says money so that's good and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna build the main robbery so let's do that let's add a let's add my character polaris frog spawn it on r6 or r15 wherever you want this is a plugin by the way that i'm using it's called the load character i'll leave a link to it in the descri description let's spawn it as an r6 character r15 sorry and oh I did not spawn it okay I did okay so now we're gonna be building the sh the robbery so let's put a part make sure it's anchored and make it as big as we want I'm gonna be making it this big and I'm going to change the material to uh, I'm not gonna change the material I'm just gonna make it white and I'm gonna have another one right here let's make this one a nice red and it looks way better now so let's uh, go ahead and add a part and make sure that it's transparent make sure that it's anchored and rename it to main part and we're gonna add a proximity prompt to it and set the whole duration to wherever we want let's put it to 10 seconds or maybe 15 and the keyboard key code to wherever you want again and the action text to <coughs> again wherever you want so i'm going to change it to rob and let's make the parts transparent so set its, tra tra its transparency to one and then make its size to one come on come on and move it wherever you want let's put it here I think this should be good and make sure that it's anchored by pressing the little anchor button right here and this should be my our little build let's group this together and rename it to robbery or the name of your robbery and what we're gonna do is in the main part we're gonna add a script uh, no not a decal a script and we're gonna do script dot parent dot mouse dot uh, sorry dot proximity prompt dot uh, uh, what do we call it yeah triggered con connect function and we're gonna have a argument as the player so a player argument 
or you can do PLR, but I'm going to do player since it's simpler. And the player with the leader stats dot money dot value is equal to player dot leader stats dot money dot value plus amount and uh, or, or just um, value I guess and uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a variable for the value local value is equal to or local prize I guess prize let's do that here is equal to uh, script dot parent dot parent no uh, let's just set it to maybe 250 cash and now we should be done with this so let's make sure it's centered and let's play this and it should be working just fine okay cool so we spawn in we have the little e to rob and when we hold d Uh, I think I said it's 15 seconds, so that's a bit too much for a tutorial, but Let's rob it. Okay, and now we got 250 cash now Maybe you want this to disappear or to be disabled after a bit of time just like jailbreak So let's do that Simply by putting a weight If you want the time to be random you can do math dot random and from one to or from uh, 50 or eight seconds for me to wherever you want let's do 20 no not 20 just 15 or 12 and we'll do script dot parent dot proximity prompt dot enabled is equal to true and in here we're gonna do script dot parent dot proximity prompt dot enabled is equal to false and let's play the game and see how this turns out so uh, let's go ahead and rob polaris prog and see if we will get some cash and if the e to rob will be disabled we are robbing it right now so yeah okay so we robbed it and now it disappears and after a bit of time a random time between 8 seconds to, th to 13 seconds or 12 I think it should reappear okay as you can see it reappeared and we can rob it again and it will disappear again so what we're gonna do now is maybe you want a little pop up like plus 1000 cash or something when they uh, when they rob the store so let's do that let's add a screen gy to start for gy rename it to main or robbery and we're gonna add a text label i'm going to plugins unit conversion scale i'll leave a link to this plugin uh, let's make it this big and let's make its background transparency to one and the text make sure that text scale is checked and the text color to a nice little green for money uh, green and the text stroke from PRC, I'm just gonna going to keep it at one and the text to for example plus 1000 cash maybe I should remove the space between plus, uh, between the plus sign and the value so that's cool let's set the font to something that looks good like um, yeah this looks good let's change the text color to something a bit less bright yeah maybe let's just keep it at that i think it's way too bright let's change the text to uh, uh a nice, I don't know, a nice dark green, I guess. 
Yeah, we'll keep it a dark green. And we're gonna set its position to the position of your uh, text label and change the uh, change this. Let me just press these little arrows and change the Y scale value to one. Or you can do minus one. No, actually change it to one, sorry. And make sure that you name it to uh, success. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna fire a remote event. So let's add a remote event to replicate the storage. And we're gonna rename it to robbery success or robbery success without any spaces. And in here, in your script, where we give the player some cash, we're gonna fire a remote event. So game, game dot replicate to storage dot uh, robbery success come fire client and we're gonna send the player and the prize actually we're gonna send the prize and in here what we're gonna do actually no sorry send the player and the prize player come up prize and in here we're gonna add a local script in, uh, I added the local script to, to the robbery screen GUI between and now what we're gonna do is game dot replicate to storage dot uh, robbery success dot on client event con connect function uh, amount or just prize what we're gonna do is we're gonna we are going to do script dot parent dot success dot text is equal to robbery success success plus dot dot and prize prize and then what we're gonna do over us to prize dot dot money actually prize dot dot and a little dollar sign and let's just remove the space i guess i think now let's just keep it we'll just remove it and in here we're gonna tween the success text label so script dot parent dot success con tween position udin2 dot new udin2 dot new and in here what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the position of the uh, success text label so change this to zero and center center the uh, text label or place it wherever you want and copy the position and in here just paste in the position and remove these weird brackets and we're gonna wait five seconds wait uh, maybe three seconds and just copy this line of code and instead of having this uh, 0 0.359 uh, we're going to change that to a 1 and now you want to change the position of your text label back to a to the position of your text label but change the y axis to 1 and what we're going to do now is we're going to set the text color to better color and text scroll transparency to zero this is optional i just want to make it look better i hope it looks better it might look worse and now let's play the game and see if this works let's hope that this will work let's rob Lars prog and view the output so we don't have any errors so that's cool We are robbing him, so let's wait. Cool! It, it sent the price and it wins back. Great. And let's say you change your price. Let me just change firstly the whole duration to something like two seconds. And the price, let's say you change the price to a uh, thousand. You don't have to edit the text label text. 
because we made it automatic so now it should say plus the amount that you gave him so yeah probably success plus one thousand dollars cool so this is going to be it for today's tutorial <laughs> this is going sorry for that uh this is going to be it for today's tutorial if this helped make sure to subscribe like the video share it with your friends and i'll see you in the next one bye